Today, we're gonna to go through a few different modalities that we can use here at Bespoke to help treat your mid-back pain. In certain situations, like an acute muscle strain or if you slept awkward um, at night and wake up with a sore mid-back, soft tissue work can be very helpful to help reduce those acute symptoms to get you back to moving more comfortably. For those with more chronic symptoms, it's important to understand that manual therapy and modalities is just one piece of the whole treatment program to help you get you back to a place that you need to be to be able to perform the mobility and strength work that will help to fix the true underlying cause of your symptoms. A few different modalities that we can use to help reduce soft tissue restrictions, such as tight muscles and fascia, are our handheld devices, including massage guns, instrument-assisted soft tissue tools, as well as our cupping set. For each of these tools, we use a different technique, such as percussion, scraping, and suction to help alleviate areas of soft tissue restriction, which the patient is experiencing as muscle tightness or soreness. Our goal is to help to use all these techniques to help to improve your pain-free motion, of your neck, mid-back, and shoulders. That way you can perform the movements and exercises crucial to your recovery. Aside from manual therapies, we can also use muscle stimulation devices to help optimize your recovery. Our therapists at Bespoke are all trained in using complex devices to help deliver electrical muscle stimulation, or EMS, or transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, or TENS, in combination with manual therapy or additional recovery tools, such as hot and cold modalities, to help relax tight or hypertonic muscles, flush out lactic acid to help prevent delayed onset muscle soreness and improve blood flow and oxygenation to the muscles to help create a healing environment to help improve overall uh, recovery. Another modality that I like to use to help improve pain-free motion and the ability to perform the exercises that you need to to help restore your mid-back is kinesio tape. While the research is kind of mixed on the efficacy of the tape, I've seen it be really helpful in certain situations to help reduce areas of pain and inflammation as well as improve the quality of patient's movements that might be uh, exacerbating their pain. Today, I'm going to show you one taping pattern that can be useful for those with isolated mid-back pain. Uh, just so you can see for reference, I've marked off our patient's pain uh, with this little piece of tape here. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take three pieces of tape already with the edges rounded, that way you don't get caught on any clothing. We're gonna rip off the end of the tape backing. The first two strips are gonna go lengthwise along his erector spinae in the mid-back. And you're gonna want to have the patient sit a little bit flexed forward, so you can bend forward from your upper body. Thank you. And from here, you're gonna put some tension on the tape. Then you're gonna lay it down. Now, depending on the brand that you use, this one does need to be activated with some heat. So you'll look to rub the tape in. So we'll put one portion on that side of the spine. Now, what we're hoping to do with this tape is create, um, one, we're gonna be putting a piece of compression right across the area for him that is painful, just to help improve circulation. That way we can help to um, improve blood flow to the area to help engage the body's natural healing points. And we are also going to use these long strips here just to help give his body some cues to stay in an upright posture to help put stress on that area where he's feeling pain. So the last piece we're going to do is you're going to split it right in the middle. You're going to put some stretch on the middle portion. You're going to place it right over that area where most of his um, symptoms are occurring. And you're gonna just lay down either side of the tape. Again, we're gonna rub it in so it sticks. And what I like to do is just have them do a few movements um, before he puts his shirt back on, just to make sure it feels comfortable. So if you can kind of roll your shoulders back and forth, raise your arms overhead. Just wanna make sure that the tape itself feels comfortable with the motion and it's not pulling on any abnormal angle with uh, on his skin. So if we take a closer look, you'll be able to see we have each strip on either side of his spine lining the muscles of his mid-back that help to control uh, flexion and extension of his spinal column. And then right under here, we have this cross piece is where we have that extra compression to help improve circulation to his region where he's feeling pain. 